This is probably a poem about me. When you asked me to tell you something I've never told anyone ever before, I decided to write you a poem. I'd be lying if I said that this poem isn't a metaphor for all the things I've always wanted to say to you but couldn't. So here I am now. And I'd like to start by saying that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for living my life in parts and leaving you out of most of them. I'm sorry for walking with my hands fisted even as you held them. I'm sorry for never learning how to share the parts of myself I wouldn't like to frame in a wall. So here they are now. One. I'm not a journey person. I live my life only in the big moments. There's no in-between. It's as if I look at my life through the lens of a camera and forget to breathe while I change the reel. Click. I'm six and I fall off a swing for the first time ever. Click. I'm six and I'm pushed off a swing for the first time ever and realize that playgrounds are battlefields and wars, wars aren't meant for me. Click. I'm nine and I use the wing machine as a staircase. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Click. I'm 11 and I spend the entirety of my school lunch break in the washroom because I've nowhere else to be. Click. I'm 13 and I want to see the world. I'm 15 and I want to change it. Click. I'm 16 and I'm in love with a boy who believes that I'm the most special person in any room for eight whole days. <laughs> Click. I'm 17 and I've forgotten how to breathe. So I keep a diary on my bedside and write down how living makes me feel. Click. I'm 20 and I'm learning how to breathe again. It's been very hard, but I'm getting there. I'm trying. You see, I've blanked out on all the in-betweens. It's as if everything I've ever done in my life is to get somewhere I've always wanted to be. So forgive me if I started running a lot faster when you tried catching up to me. Two. My life is just one big, beautiful day that I've been reliving over and over and over and over again. I've repeated the same routine so many times that I'm not sure if a lot of what I do has any meaning anymore. I've gotten so used to breathing the same air that every time the season changes, I write a poem about how I've forgotten how to breathe. Last October, it took me 21 days and 13 poems to get back to normalcy. Three, I've always been so afraid of change, I spent my life living at the edge of a tightrope. Just one single step could save me, but I'm not sure I remember how to move or even if I want to. Four, I do not know how to make decisions. Throughout 2016, I kept a coin on my bedside table and flipped it whenever I needed a yes or a no. It's as if I'm constantly walking on the tracks of a train and the train's coming towards me no matter where I go. Five, I wake up to the same 22 sunrises every single day, yet hope that today might feel a little easier for me to be. Six, I wish I weren't as scared as I am on most days. Seven. I've always been pretty good with numbers, but I'm still learning how to count the number of people in my family. I never know where to begin or where to end. Eight. The only way I've learned how to deal with loss is by blaming an entire month. So October, I fucking hate you. Nine. I've always hated the color yellow because it represented all the people and places I could never be. You were my yellow. 10. I wish I knew how to write about me without writing about you. 11. I have so much to say, but sometimes I do not know what to say, so I say everything but what I want to say. 12. The first time I left my house, everywhere I went felt like home. I haven't felt like that in a long time now. 13. I feel like I've spent my entire life packing, collecting, and scattering myself both in baggage and memory. I feel like I carry so much everywhere I go, hoping that the next time I'd stop, I'd get to be. Hoping that the next time I'd stop, I'd get to say, I am home now. I don't want to leave. Thank you.